7 Eyewitness News looking at how to get your children back to school safely. There are new concerns about an illness that is related to COVID-19, but so far a rise in multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children has not arrived here in New York State. Nikki Dementia spoke with one expert about why this illness might not quite be as advertised. The more you look for it, the more you find it. Governor Andrew Cuomo says a rise in cases of multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, also known as MISC, has not reached New York State. New York is not a good gauge for this because the number of cases is coming down across the board. We are seeing the numbers increase in other states where the cases are increasing. The state saw 15 more cases in the last month, bringing the total to 242 with two deaths. The chance of a child who gets SARS-CoV-2 infection, which causes COVID-19, actually having MISC eventually is very slim. Many liken the illness to Kawasaki disease, but many who study Kawasaki agree the two have little, if any, in common. There could still be some kind of immune, a subset of immune cells that are reactive in both that might explain some of the overlap, but they really look like very different phenomena. UB pediatric infectious diseases expert Dr. Mark Highcar says the definition of MISC is so broad the data includes more cases than he believes are actually true cases. You make a broad definition to make sure you capture all these kids and so by making it so broad though we're actually probably seeing a number of different disorders. A recent study in the New England Journal of Medicine looked at data from New York on MISC. It's a study, Dr. Heikar says, that doesn't add many more details, but he's hopeful several others will yield more answers. There will be more of these cases, but they still are uh, seemingly a rare phenomenon. Dr. Heikar says the best thing for children to do is wear a mask and social distance. Nikki Dementry, 7 Eyewitness News.